Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and in this Laravel video tutorial, we will learn about the stub customization. So this topic can really save you lots of time when you're working on a Laravel project as well as which is this topic is also important for the interviews because uh, stubs are introduced in the Laravel 7 and still this is a new topic and lots of guys don't know about it, don't know about it and they even never use it right in the Laravel project right. So what we are going to learn in this video, why use stubs and what are they and uh, then we will run the commands for the stub, then we will see how we can customize the controller and model and at the last I will ask you an interview question. So first question is what is a stub and why we use it. So in the stub actually our uh, file structure are defined in these files right. So what kind of structure, so in these files, they already defined that when we just make a controller, then what kind of code will be written in this file. So first of all, we just written here namespace, then we have to import something and then we just write a class. So these all things are defined in the stub, right? So when we just make a new controller, then they just look into the stub and just find that what code I need to return in this controller and stub just, just instruct them, then you can just return this code uh, when new control is generated. And the same thing will be happen in the model, uh, in the component, migration, seeding, every file that you can generate with the uh, command line, right? But now what is a stub customization? Stub customization means, let's say you just want to make the 50 controller and the every controller you need a index function, like in the every component you actually need index this function, right? Like this. So what you can do, you can just generate the all new components one by one and you can just make this function by the manually, but this will take the lots of time. Again, maybe you just want to import the DB file or some other files for the old controllers, right? So for that, you can just do it the manually, but it will take lots of time. But the better approach is you can just directly uh, customize the stub and tell to the uh, stub that just include the, this index function every time when you just make any controller and you can just add any other functions in the model also. Let's see how we can do it and how we can just uh, customize our uh, uh, by default controller and by default model with the stuff. First of all, you need to just uh, check out that PHP. Uh, first of all, we need to uh, publish the stuff. So just write here PHP artisan stub publish. And it will generate around uh, 28 files or something here you can see that so these are the old stub files you can see that right so now what i want i want whenever my new component like uh, a new controller like i just make a student controller member controller user controller sign up controller then index fun function will be there by default how could it possible for that you have to just go to the controller dot plane dot stub right just click on it oh, okay so just open this file and where you can just find these old stubs row, so you can just uh, find these stubs here, right? So, and uh, just go for this uh, uh, controller dot plane dot stub and just define. Here you can see that this is the by default stub skeleton, and this code will generate our this controller code, right? You can see that this is pretty matching. And now you just define here this one, right? and even you just want to return something return let's say hello from index or something right you can just simply put it like this so now in the next time whenever i will generate any controller i will just find this function by default right php artisan make controller and uh, you can just simply write here let's say members right and hit that now you can find find this members inside the controllers and now you can see that index function is already there so let's try one more member two and again you will find you will find that it again have the index function 
same thing you can do with the modal right so let's find out the modal stub here it is right and now let's uh, we just want to disable the timestamp so that you can just simply put here uh, public dollar timestamp equal to false right, like this what I just oh, yes now this is correct again now let's try to generate the model and in the every model you will find this of uh, timestamp false right so just right here php artisan make model and just right here member and let's go to this uh, model now members and you can see that this timestamp is by default here right so this is the way that how you can just customize your uh, controller model or component anything with the stub now it's time to question so i already told you that how you can customize the controller model and now you just need to find that how we can or what file we need to just customize for the component and migration you can attempt this question on the comment box and thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe my channel bye bye take care